Right, I'm being completely photobombed by a cat on the bed. The cat over there, that cat there, he's photobombing. Right, it's Patricia Finney. I'm talking about my new book, Lucky Woman. It, it's not really a new book. Um, it's been through many drafts. Why? Why did I write a romance? Why did I write a romantic thriller? In my own defence, I'd like to say I didn't intend to write a romantic thriller. What happened was that an idea bat arrived from outer space carrying the entire book and it went <laughs> and it dropped its payload into my head where suddenly I had a book and I had to write it and I had to write it there was no choice this sometimes happens with poems sometimes with short stories sometimes with books normally I it's a much more orderly pro process and easier to do but on this occasion the book arrived and I had to write it <laughs> and that me meant all day every day banging away on my computer um, with its word processing pro program I think it was Lotus I'm not sure and I was desperately trying to keep up with the story which I had no idea I had no idea what was going to happen except that because I'm because I'm me uh, it was going to be pretty violent and probably end with an explosion and <laughs> indeed it did but this book just arrived and said write me it wasn't polite so that's why I wrote a romantic thriller because it was <laughs> a romantic thriller that arrived and in sort of retrospect um, trying to, to make it a more sort of logical sounding process. Um, I don't like romance. I find it, I, I find it very difficult to believe in these lovely heroines who always have this curly blonde hair and the, the, the handsome hero, heroes with their, their, their six packs. And, and I, I just wanted to write something that was about a love story, not a romance, not one of those rather false things, but a love story. Story where two people, completely different, a, an idiotic thing to do, but just fell in love. That's all, a love story. And so that's what I wanted to do when I was writing it, but that was not what I intended at the time. At the time, in God, long time ago now, when I was actually writing it, I just wanted to finish it. I just wanted to get it out of my head because my head was packed full to bursting with this story. And I couldn't think of anything else. I couldn't, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do anything except write the book. And that book, it, took, it doesn't happen all at once, really. You get the, the North draft that way, and then there's another draft and another draft and another draft. And it's been through all sorts of iterations, but that first bang of a story. Do you know what? That's one of the best feelings in the world. It's fantastic. It's got cocaine beat to a frazzle. It is to cocaine's, the high from that is to cocaine's high as the pimple on my bum is to Mount Everest because it's fantastic fantastic feeling even if you are completely crazy i i was gabbling away to a friend of mine who's a doctor when i was writing this book and after i gabbled for about 10 minutes i had no idea what i was talking about and nor did she probably and when i sort of finally shut up she said hmm i'd love to know what your cortisol levels are doing at the moment I just fell apart laughing. God knows what they were doing. They were probably through through to the stratosphere. But that that was right. That's writing a book, and it's so much fun. It is the most fun out of bed in the world, and it happens not that often, but often enough that you know it could happen again. And to be able to do that, there's something magical about it. To be able to catch the little idea bat in flight get it to stay still and be a good idea bat and 
let you do the story in a slightly calmer way. That's, that's also pretty good. But Lucky Woman, I've always got a soft sore, uh, I've always got a soft spot for Lucky Woman because it hit me like a ton of bricks and it was written in about four weeks, full, full length. So that's the first, that's the first story of how Lucky Woman became, came to be written in the first place. Why, why it was that a person who normally wrote historical novels and loves writing historical novels suddenly came up with a romantic thriller. And that's why. So, bye. Oh, God. <laughs>